All right. Well, they introduced me, and I'm going to take it on the liberty of myself to introduce myself again. I am Elizabeth Olson, although my friends do call me Izzy. Uh, I currently am a senior at Greenway High School as well as Alternative Learning Program. When I got the opportunity to do this talk, I was ecstatic and, quite frankly, very nervous. So, kids these days. Kids these days are bullied, sometimes to the point where they want to commit suicide. I should know. I was once one of those kids. I've been bullied for as long as I can remember, and still am to this day. Then I found a constructive outlet. Well, for now, let's just call them passions. This passion is poetry. I have been writing since I was 12, and I'm still writing to this day. I have even more passions now. Choir, drama club, singing, and writing. What kids these days need to know is that they are not alone. For the longest time, I thought I was, and that no one understood how I was suffering. Discovering I wasn't alone wasn't easy, but it happened when I least expected it. My freshman year in high school, our English teacher had us as a class write poems, and she would select a few to be read to the classroom. When I heard these poems, I realized the people around me, the people I thought had the perfect lives, weren't so perfect after all. They had family issues, bad grades, or friends that betrayed their trust. At 15, this opened my eyes to the fact that others, other people don't want anyone to know how bad their lives truly are. One of my poems was selected. I have it here to read you. Now, I'm going to warn you, it's very dark and a bit depressing. Sadness. Shadows sleep in the dark corners of your soul, bringing depression in their wake. Paranoia creeps in through the window of despair. The sun is gone, and there is no hope for its return. Shame fills the streets, seeking for more souls to harvest. Loneliness fills, fills the heart, bringing tears and sadness. Pain invades the body with no mercy. Stress strikes fear into the soul. Anger burns bright as the flames of discord. Blame causes so much hurt, physical and emotional. Watch what you say and do, for you never know who you may hurt. When I shared my writings, I felt better, and it still makes me feel better to share them now. I have friends who have had the same thoughts as myself, and I explain to them how I use the tools I have, my outlets, my passions, to process through these feelings, through these thoughts. An even greater passion of mine is singing. I've been singing for as long as I can remember, and now I can't imagine a world without it. When I was younger, I would listen to music and sing along and feel comfort. As I got older, the opportunity to join a choir expanded my passion of music. I am currently a part of a select choir called Raider Singers, as well as Drama Club. These are passions that I am very happy to share with those around. I believe kids these days need to bond with others who share similar passions. I still, to this day, have those hopeless thoughts, but I realize I need to push myself to keep moving forward, because deep down, I know I can make it better. It can also take a long time to find what you're passionate about, but once you find it, there isn't anything you can't do.